Hey everyone, this is Moonshine's Curiosity. As you can see, I cut my hair. It's all different. I kept two front strands. I combined them here, but there's two front strands here and they're kind of long and they go. <laughs> and then the rest of it I chopped off. See, I have short hair. <laughs> so that's been exciting. Oh my goodness, this is gonna drive me nuts. Okay, there we go. But other than that, I'm doing okay. I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, I kept getting swallowing, um, where I keep swallowing and I don't mean to. And it happens a lot, especially if I'm nervous or if I'm busy with something and I'm not aware, I start swallowing a whole bunch. So my doctor decided to cut back my meds. He wasn't able to because the insurance company was acting up for some reason, but I was able to cut my pills in half and I've been doing that. And in other news, I, um, the pharmacy has not contacted me about refilling my medication. So yay me. So currently I'm gonna be about meds this weekend unless they call me tomorrow. <laughs> So that should be an adventure. I'm going to have to call the doctor's office on Monday and say, hey, what's up? Did you guys cancel my prescription when you were trying to make it so I could get halfsies of the pills I was supposed to get or what? But it's going to be a fun weekend. I work this weekend. Um, I paint because it's summertime. I don't have my school district job. So um, I'm going to be doing the painting stuff. And I have a whole army I have to do for uh, a client. I'm doing it with my boss and uh, another lady, so that should make it easier, but it's going to be uh, interesting not having my medication, having withdrawals, and having <sighs> symptoms come back. Um, I went to group therapy just 30 minutes ago, and we were talking about stigma. And, um, what's the other word? Um, stereotypes. So, we're talking about that. It's so nice to talk to people. It's a psychosis group. And it has really helped me. Um, it's really helped me know that I'm not alone. Which is really cool. I have a few websites that I'm a part of. Um, mostly Facebook groups. But... It's just not the same as like meeting people in real life and then you meet them and you're just like, oh, I gotta hug you because we're, we have the same, you know, mental illness. We have the same issues. So that's been really helpful. I forget what I was going to go on about, but I was going to go on, oh, right, withdrawals. Um, meds. <laughs> gotta have them, but also gotta deal with the punches as well. Um, it, it's, it's interesting. It should be an interesting weekend. I felt like I should kind of talk about it because um, it's kind of a big event for me when I don't have my medication because the bipolar kicks in and, um, you know, currently I'm feeling hypomanic. So that means this weekend I may be manic without the medications. I don't know if that would happen in two days. I know I get withdrawal symptoms where I feel very irritated and like an impending doom. That's what happens when I forget to take my meds and I start having panic attacks, which I don't know if that's what the mood stabilizer helps with or what, but I get mood, I get panic attacks um, when I um, am without them, so. <sighs> um trying to think what else to talk about. I really want to talk. <laughs> I think it's just the mania. Um, well, the hypomania, I should say. I just want to keep talking. And then with group, it didn't help. It was like, I want to keep talking. I want to keep talking. I want to keep talking about me. And it's like, no, no, no. We're talking about stereotypes. Shut up, self. <laughs> but I'm sure group was okay with me. Um, uh, they're, they're just really great people. I I really, uh, I really enjoy it, and, 
uh, yeah. Um, yeah, really not looking forward to uh, being off medication. That's gonna really suck. And having the halfsies of the Abilify has, um, <clears throat> It hasn't helped with the swallowing. There was a couple days I forgot to take it completely, and I stopped swallowing. Like, my boyfriend says he saw it a few times, but I didn't notice it at all. And currently, like, I notice it all the time, as you can see right there. Um, I don't know what to do. I... I really don't want to start hallucinating again with the getting off of Abilify, but it sounds like I'm going to have to get off of it, and that means I'm going to be a lab rat again, um, trying to, uh, trying new medications to help with the hallucinations. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just learn to deal with them. I just, I don't know. Group kind of gave me hope, though the the group therapy. It kind of gave me hope that uh, maybe I could be off medication and I'd be fine. I just need to learn how to cope with it. So that is an option. I just would rather stay on them. <clears throat> it's like my safety blanket. I know. I know the Abilify really helps me. Like it. Uh, it just makes it all go away, and then I'm not delusional. I don't think the neighbors are listening through the walls, or the cops are after me for no reason. You know, I don't want to go back to that. But with... With all this going on with the meds being dropped, then... I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything else, Please comment, and I'll try to com comment back within a, a few days. Um, otherwise, have a great day. Keep a smile on your face. And always have hope. There is help out there. And just know you're not alone if you have this illness. And even if you don't have the illness, um, support's great for us that do have the illness. You know, we... We need friends from all places, people with illness, people without. We just need support. Um, I'm sorry, I'm kind of rambling now. I think it's the hypomania. <clears throat> sorry if I'm not making sense. I'm kind of going all around with my words. But um, have a great day. Bye.